so without further ado, welcome back to the show, Brother Manifest Raw. Welcome to the show, man. Well, hey, man, it's a pleasure and a blessing to be here. Uh, Clark, I'm telling you on a, on a how can I say it, a, a day that's pregnant with possibilities. It's a great time to be alive. Uh, and, of course, we hear people say any time above ground is a great time to be alive. But we really have to affirm who we are and what we want to become uh, as we move forward in the spring season. So uh, we give thanks for you and your show, um, this this great concept of, of just um, of surviving 365 and also thriving 365. And so uh, on that note, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about how we can um, prepare ourselves for the shift that's coming in the in, in the next few weeks. Uh, of course, we understand that we're moving quickly away from the winter season and, and coming into the spring season. And what does that really mean? We do this every year, but do we prepare ourselves mentally, spiritually, and physically, emotionally, intellectually, financially, every way we think of to move forward in a way that is truly progressive to uh, what we want to become? So, you know, oftentimes we start at the beginning of the year, even just a little before for those who kind of plant their seeds for the solstice, and we say, okay, what do I want to do for this upcoming year? So hopefully many of us have already done that, and we're at that time now where we should be springing forth because we should have planted those seeds uh, for what we want to happen in 2011. And so, uh, Brother Clark, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about how we can uh, spring clean our mind, body, and spirit for optimal health, weight loss, emotional balance, inner peace, and financial uh, sustainability uh, in the coming weeks. Can I do that, my brother? Absolutely, man. The show is all yours. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, first of all, we have to understand the spring season means coming forth. During the winter season, we go into hibernation. We, uh, You know, it's very cold um, in most parts of the world, many parts of the world, uh, but it's still a time when we need to come within, go within, rather, and be reflective, meditative, um, we conserve our energy, if you will, and uh, it's a very yin-oriented time. Stillness, very little movement, very little activity. And so during that time, we kind of gather our thoughts and we decide. You know, we get some divine insight, if you will, what do I want to accomplish for the upcoming year? And so as we come into the spring, again, those seeds should have been planted, and we still have time to plant them if, if they haven't been. But we need to cleanse ourselves of anything that we need to let go of, that we need to uh, rid ourselves of that will prohibit us from truly springing forth and manifesting our greatness during this time of the year as well as this, the summer months as well. And so this is, a, this is a good time. It's a good time to be alive. In traditional Chinese medicine, uh, they call this, this spring season the wood season, um, and, and the winter season is the water season. Uh, in terms of the elements. And so anytime you understand water and wood, water nourishes wood. If it's raining wherever you are, just think about it. As it rains, it helps the trees and the plants and things of that nature go, grow. So, again, water enhances and nourishes wood. So that's where we are. We're coming into the wood season. And the wood season, if you will, um, in terms of the bodily organs, uh, corresponds to the liver. And so oftentimes people during this time of the year, the spring season that's coming up, they will do a liver detox or a liver cleanse. And why is that necessary? Because the, the, the emotions that correspond with the, uh, the liver uh, that are negative are anger, resentment, hatred, um, any type of toxic uh, emotion that one is really holding on to that they haven't let go of. That will greatly impair the flow of, of chi in the liver. And so um, what we want to do at this particular time is examine uh, ourselves and do what I call a self-inventory check so we can remove all those things that are no longer serving us so we can spring forth into um, uh, and embrace the forgiveness, the self-love, the forward thinking. So uh, in short, uh, next few minutes or so that I have left, I want to give a few tips that people can um, – um, um, that are very practical, that people can use to cleanse themselves and spring forward in the coming weeks so they can truly be empowered.